beautiful field today and I really wanted to film me talking about grounding and how I remain grounded in this modern era, in this modern day and age where we have devices around Wi-Fi, you know, our phones all the time and everything is digital, right? So in my daily practice, I practice grounding. I practice tapping into my body, learning how to listen to my heart and my intuition. Um, because when it comes to this modern era, right, we are stepping into our highest potential, our infinite potential, um, with how we can um, maneuver through life now, through the digital era, right? Um, and so daily things that I practice, um, I do to remain grounded when it comes to my creativity um, and my mental health, okay, mental health, all of it, um, and how I attune to rest um, in my feminine being a woman as well. I rest in my feminine and, you know, this has allowed me to become more grounded in my creations and my creativity and um, ideas and nurturing my feminine energy and allowing to rest you know when it comes to being a woman that masculine energy comes in when it comes to you know projecting your creative ideas projecting you know me you know setting myself up to uh you know nurture my ideas and to sprout my creative ideas right so a daily practice that I do as soon as I wake up is I connect with my heartbeat and I put my awareness inside of my body. Um, I use a little eye mask, but sometimes I don't. Um, and I usually, you know, meditate for at least an hour. Um, usually when I do these meditations, I really get into a very deep state because as soon as you wake up, you're already in a higher brainwave state you're like in between uh, states and so I feel meditation as soon as you wake up is so penetrative and because um, your awareness is already inside of you and so when you just wake up rise and you know sit up get yourself in a comfy position you know your pillows against the, the wall and you know in a very very comfortable position let go and breathe into your heart let go of the daily tasks for just a moment and get in tuned with that intuition baby okay um so that is what i do i listen to my heart i let go of the mind and you know i listen and i observe my thoughts as i'm tuning into my heartbeat and feeling you know my stomach how's my stomach feeling you know how's my everything my womb all of it um and i love to breathe super deep to the point where my lungs are just like expansive i notice when i do that um you know my ideas come flooding in for the day um my intuition starts guiding me my guidance system starts guiding me into a flow you know I, maybe i start to write some things down um you know maybe i start to just grab my earphones and make some music you know what I mean um, you know I make me a cup of coffee um, and you know I get started with my day I start I tap into this flow of, of divinity I go outside I plant my feet in the grass and that's how the flow literally just guides me into what I am feeling those impulses of joy okay and that's how you know you're grounded inside the body you're not in the mind, you're not over analyzing, you're not overthinking. Um, and so breathing deeply um, and tapping into that nervous system, rewiring the circuitry, right? The neural pathways, because you can see all around you. We are like in this circuitry of stress, overanalyzing, overthinking, um, the circuitry of controlling you know, things in life, controlling others, controlling every little detail, okay? That's a circuitry. And once we start to let go, tap into the heart, tap into our higher self, right? The soul, and start to become the observer of your own self, your
your thoughts as well as others as when you become the observer you observe every little thing okay and that's not control that's allowing things to flow and unfold right and and you you let go of the resistance you let go of the tension in the body you just start to let go and you start to enter into the flow the divine flow so this is grounding right here and this is grounding really when we connect with nature we're grounding right we are remembering we are here in this body we are here on earth right we are rooted we are rooted and we are grounded and that's what trees uh symbolize as well they're so rooted they're so deep connect connected to divinity to creation um but they soar high high up into this the sky right and um they are channels of this divine flow um all nature is all nature is and we are nature so uh writing thoughts ideas feelings out all of the time so grab you like literally go ahead and get you a beautiful journal a beautiful journey journal i found this on etsy and on etsy they have so much cute vintage handmade journals and they're some are huge some are you know just like this one or smaller it doesn't matter get you a journal right um and have something to motivate you right to inspire you to write and um you know i started writing uh you know i've always been writing since i was school but since i was in school but you know as soon as i graduated that's when i was like you know i'm going to get a journal and i'm going to just write out my thoughts you know and i love doing that you know it really calms me down it really grounds me it gets the thoughts all up in the air into the paper and you notice you start to release a lot you start to release you know it gets my ideas out it gets all of the yearnings of my soul out on paper and allows me to really be more clear within uh an aim for the things that i truly truly want in my life and what i really want to create right as well as movement of the body breathing like i said when you breathe when you meditate that's movement as well like when you're breathing very deeply the body is releasing the blood is flowing right the digestive system is moving it's circulating all of the energy vortexes in your body start to wake up and when you get into that deep state of breathing right and putting your awareness inside of the body it's like the machine starts to start gearing up a little faster and things start to you know amp up and you feel it and so that's the movement of the body as well um but also you know working out weightlifting you know going out for a run uh you know little workouts throughout the day or just you know a good old uh an hour workout for the day stretching lifting weights running that's that's literally what i do i have to move my body um it just makes me feel alive you know when you notice when you're just stagnant you're you're just not you know moving the body the gut you know things start to become stagnant and so make sure you always you know move your body at least just an hour a day as well grounding helps me embody my creativity when you're creative you can be all up in the air with all these ideas and all of that right but when you are not um grounded in the body you're not you're mostly in the mind you're mostly in the imagination and that's all dandy like seriously i that's what i do i imagine a lot i imagine myself a lot i visualize you know when i'm meditating i'm always in that state of you know seeing that as my life but when i step into my body i have to match that right you have to embody that essence embodying the essence and so that's what grounding really helps me do when i connect with my tree i am matching <laughs> when i connect with a tree right when i'm sitting down with a tree maybe or i'm outside in nature barefoot um i'm working out maybe i'm making music maybe i'm pulling out some oracle cards maybe i'm journaling you know every little thing i do it is matching my imagination 
I am matching my essence. I am embodying my essence. I'm not here scrolling on and comparing others, right? I'm not uh, trying to see, trying to struggle to see if I can, uh, you know, maybe get this job and, you know, carry multiple jobs because, no, that is literally uh, survival. That is uh, lack, that is um, doubt, that is fear, and that is not allowing yourself to be supported right you're not being so you're not surrendering to the other forces that are here to work with you right because you're not the only one you're not alone and that is one thing that helps me a lot is there's support all around you there is support all around you and lately I've been in these thoughts as well so you know filming this video like for me but also as well knowing that it's going to help others because this is all relevant um, in my life and I know in others um, right now I am grounding and trying to remember to ground into my creativity remembering that that is who I am and nothing can change that and if I ignore it myself nobody will you know remind you but you it's always going to be a reminder deep inside of you and the embodiment of that essence to truly follow it to truly embody it to truly ground in your creativity and all your ideas is uh that is security that is security and that's letting you know the external world that that this is who you are and nothing can change you and all you have left is support to completely keep blooming in that you embody uh, and and you are fulfilled in this moment knowing that this is who you are right this is who you are and if you stoop down to anything less than who you are right your life will be chaotic and who wants a chaotic life because you're ignoring your soul and so I know maybe this is all just kind of mixed in with being grounded so being grounded in implementing these practices allows you to just stay center in clarity within yourself. It allows you to be safe in yourself, right? To feel protected in yourself. To, to know that your creativity and being grounded in your creativity is vital. It is important. And these are for all, these, all the creative ones out here that are... Um, pursuing their creative path, right? And pursuing their intuition, which is abstract, which is unseen by others. This is something that, you know, we have to ground uh, and materialize ourselves, right? We can't prove to others, you know, this is all inside of you. And so grounding it, you know, grounding it, materializing your creativity, uh, this is what has been helping me. Remember, we are not alone here, and your destiny is very clear. You do not need any validation from the world, from your external world, from others, when your destiny is very clear inside of you. It simply needs your attention to materialize it, right? To ground in it, to make it visible, to make it physical. <laughs> be one with your dreams, to be one with your imagination, the physical and the imagination. It can be one. We merge it. This is all what, you know, the creator, God, uh, did, right? We are one with God physically and spiritually. The physical is not separate from the spiritual. We are one so this is remaining potent, this is remaining potent in your essence. If you have to exit social media, if you have to stop watching things for just, you know, to just get into your own life, to really just focus and let go of the external world and to be in that zone of your own creation. That is the most powerful thing and most powerful force that can change your life in an instant. 
and it's just simply getting into real life nurturing your real life nurturing uh you know being in community and reconnecting to yourself and others in your real life right and doing these daily practices daily practices is real life and that is remaining grounded in your life right so i hope this video helped um for all the creative ones for all the ones who want to pursue very uh you know unconventional abstract narrow path of your soul right um and so walking in essence that is purely living right that is living in your in your dharma and your destiny and your soul and you're becoming clear very clear as to why you're here first of all and clear in your purpose so live with purpose you know everything false fake uh will just you know dissipate fast all the things i've been learning about myself of course i'm going to share so uh yeah thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more videos connecting with your essence will forever change your life because you're now seeing yourself from how the creator sees you right not how the world sees you your perception of yourself will forever change when you are in tune with how the creator sees you and everything in life is showing us who we are through projections we cannot see others for who they are we can only witness them know who they are through the knowing of who you are that is how you can see others when you can see yourself